a lot of my collector fan family out there have been talking a lot since they canceled the five inch figure line which my thoughts in a video discussion is going to be coming soon but they were asking about these i promised i would show it in a separate video when it got here now the figure itself and i gotta say the truth when i when i see it although i have no interest in these whatsoever with the big heads they might grow on me i'm not gonna lie but at, at this moment i just don't have any inter interest interest um, this body is surprisingly a lot better quality than the the figures we've been getting in these building sets because even putting it together each peg now maybe there, this is a new thing and I haven't noticed it but each peg has a it's not just a simple peg that you pop in it's got this groove if you can see that right there if you can see that groove right there well that's on all of them on the arms the legs um, except for the head now when you pop them in it feels sturdier than the ones I've gotten re previously in the line bags and the building sets I mean they're on there and they're good because I know previously when I would get an arm peg it would just be this little nub you know what I mean with just a flat little nub you guys know but now it's gonna be hard to see I bet now it has a bit more to it and it holds in there i mean good the legs were a little difficult to get in but it's solid it feels real solid now the top is still just the old-fashioned little peg if you could see there and the head is just a tiny hole see that little hole A lot of collectors were talking about making customs and you literally take that little hole and slide this on. So as far as customs, you know, I don't know, but this looks a little, a little ridiculous. And the head even doesn't sit on there all that great. Oh, sorry, the battery died, but like I said, the uh, head here, I don't know, it kind of, um, you can still see the nub there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, small complaint for a little guy. I don't know if these things will grow on me, but, uh, listen, disappointing for a loot crate, especially since they had a video and was like, this is amazing and awesome. I think he said, this is awesome. So for anyone disappointed, yeah, I absolutely understand. Uh, however, I'm going to wait and see if these little guys grow on me. After all, I collect these building sets with my daughter. We build them together. I love how they look displayed like dioramas and we both have fun. And if we, it got big heads and she thinks it's even cuter, then <laughs> I'll still be getting them, you know, because she loves it. Anyway, uh, when they release, they're going to have a big and little head. No more blind bags. It's going to be tubes so you can see the characters. For that, I say thank you, Todd McFarlane, because blind bags are bullshit. I hate them. I can't tell you how many mystery bags I've bought for my daughter for anything, and we keep getting the same shit. We must have 30 Daryls. Like, seriously? <laughs> Anyhow, let me know what you think about these little guys, and I'll be coming with a video talking about the cancellation of uh, the five-inch figure line. So let me know what you think about these guys. Here's an image of the detail. I gotta get going, got videos to make. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe now.